The chief executive officer of the First National Bank, Dennis Mbingo, says as a bank, they will continue to monitor situations happening in the world, such as the USA politics, Brexit, and development in neighboring countries like South Africa, so that they accordingly advise their customers as far as money is concerned. Mbingo was speaking during a breakfast meeting with stakeholders, which has been organized by the bank web report. The First National Bank Swaziland held a breakfast meeting with its customers and stakeholders to discuss issues relating to the economy of the country, with particular focus on U.S. politics, Brexit, and developments in neighboring South Africa on how they can affect the economy of the country. Dennis Mbingo, the Chief Executive Officer of FNP Swaziland, elaborates on the meeting. And essentially, we asked our customers to come um, spend time with us this morning to understand what it means to have uh, Mr. Trump as president in the U.S., what Brexit means, and what the ANC and South African developments um, mean for this economy and for specifically certain sectors within the economy. And a lot came out of this conversation around the risks um, and the opportunities that the, all of these changes that are impacting the global economy present for Swazi businesses. We are quite pleased that we had time to talk about volatility and um, what the Swaziland uh, economy can potentially benefit um, uh, from that. And I'm grateful that clients actually took the time. This is very relevant. In an age of uncertainty, it is important to talk about the issues. Ignoring them does not help um, neither the country nor individual businesses. Mbingo added that what was crucial was to look at the possible outcomes so that they can advise their customers and that they will continue to hold such discussions as the situations plays out in the world. Welcome Ngumalo of the Central Bank of Swaziland made a presentation on the Swaziland view of the U.S. politics, Brexit and developments in South Africa meaningful for certain sectors. It can be loss of certain big orders for some sectors, particularly from cane fruit. Uh, and then what we also noted is that our, our links uh, with South Africa are much, much stronger. Obviously, we might be getting affected by Brexit through the indirect channels, because as, as you said, uh, they export 20% to the EU. So compared to us, we are doing 6%. But because we are doing more of our exports with South Africa, so if their demand is low, if their growth is low, it also impacts more on us through that uh, indirect uh, channel. Uh, I think we also want to appreciate the issue of volatility. And other speakers included Isaiah Mshanga from the Rand Merchant Bank in South Africa, who focused on the regional impact of the global events, and Matthew Van de Horn, who focused on finding dynamic ways to hedge currency risk. Sibosisongubane reporting for Swazi TV News, Zulwini.